Hello, peeps. This is a hillbilly half with you, and Gazza is go talking today about J.K. Rowling and the new hate laws that are coming out. It's pretty disturbing. Uh, I don't usually talk about stuff like this, but this is very, very disturbing. So I'd just like to say, if you don't mind commenting, rating, and subscribing, and sharing this stuff out there to get it out there, because uh, since I had that last, I put a short up the other day, and for some reason, they um, demonetized it and put a warning on it. And all my, what's it called, likes and, not likes, uh, shares and, what's it called, I've dropped like a stone since then. So I've had to remove it. I, it's weird, isn't it? They just get, sometimes they get their automatic thing gets into your videos and that's it then. So please comment, rate and subscribe and share. And let's get started on JK Rowling. Now, this is a guy who's, who was way ahead of his time when asked about fascism, how fascism starts. Bertrand Russell once said, first they fascinate the fools, then they muzzle the intelligent. Now, muzzling the intelligent, I think, is what's going on here. So this woman should be a hero to all women out there. The way she sticks up for you all and is bloody vilified is uh, I'm amazed that more people haven't stick by her. Now, Scottish minister refuses to say whether J.K. Rowling Post should be recorded as a hate crime incident amid reports of 3,000 police complaints. Well, I don't know if they've been talking about this, but it's not been recorded as a... She hasn't been um, took over because of this, because she's not in this country. If you, if you make a comment outside of uh, Scotland, you can get away with it. But if you're in Scotland, you can't. So I think that's the only reason she's got away with it. Community Safety Minister, Minister, Minister Sylvian Brown stated it's an operational matter for police Scotland who are tasked with enforcing the new hate crime legislations that came into effect in Scotland this week. A non-crime hate incident is logged when an incident fails to meet the cr criminal threshold but is perceived as motivated wholly or partly by malice and ill will towards a social group. According to police... Li listen to that. A non-crime hate in incident is logged when an incident fails to meet the criminal threshold. Did I just read that. A non-crime, so nobody's committing a crime, hate incident, so it isn't even a hate incident, is logged as a hate in as an incident, even if it fails to meet the crime sh threshold. We're in a police state here, people. This could come to the UK before long, and especially Wales, the way they're going. Amid reports over 3,000 plates received so far under the new law the minister revealed a false complaint had been made in her name miss mrs brown said obviously this was a fake complaint that someone had done anonymously in my name and gave my office number i'm currently out of the country but if what i've written here qualifies as an offense under the terms of the new act i look forward to being arrested when i return to the birthplace of the scottish enlightenment so that's what's happened that is uh, her actually doing this on purpose to miss rolling to get them to do it but because she's out of the country she doesn't get had if she was in if she was in scotland she might get had but still very brave lady if you agree with the views set out in this tweet please retweet it rolling effectively challenged authorities to arrest her if they believed she had committed a crime but if she'd have been in scotland they would have that is the scary thing on X, Mrs. Rowling published a list of biological men who identify as women she suggested will benefit from a law, including double rate, rapist Isla Bryson, Samantha Norris, who was convicted of possessing 16,000 child abuse images, and Amy George, who abducted a child dressed as a woman. Model and activist Monroe Bergdorf, the UN's first woman champion, also mentioned... And Mrs. Rowling reignited her feud with broadcaster India Willoughby, who reported the author to police for failing to use Willoughby's preferred pronouns. As a vocal critic of the Scottish government's stance on trans right, Rowling effectively challenged authorities to arrest her if they believe she had committed a crime. Why aren't more people doing this? When asked if Rowling remarks would be classified as a non crime hate incident, Mrs. Brown refused to answer, stating it was the decision for the police however SNP 
Jonah Cherry questioned whether Rowling will have a non-crime hate incident. Have a non-crime hate incident recorded against her name in respect... I can't believe I'm reading these words in uh, 2024. Having a non-crime hate incident recorded against her name. This is Orwellian stuff. The new Hate Crime and Public Order Scotland Act cons consolidates existing hate crime laws and extends protections often against racial abuse and other groups based on age, disability, sexual orientation, religion and transgender identity. While stirring up racial hatred was already illegal, the Act broadened the scope to cover these additional characteristics. Critics, including Rowling, Elon Musk, have raised concerns about the legislation's impact on freedom of speech, while others have highlighted the potential for vex vexatious or malicious complaints. Former Rangers players and football commentator Ali McCoyce warned that he and thousands of fans would be committing a breach of the act during Sunday's Old Firm Derby Rangers and Celtic. However, McCoyce later said he would not be attending a match due to a change of plans. Because they've scared him. Censorship is, is when they scare you not to do it. Because he knows he will get done. When asked about McCoy's concerns, Mrs. Brown stated, I'm not going to comment on individuals' comments. She emphasised that behaviour would have to exceed a very high threshold of a crime to be committed under new legislation. The minister clarified somebody at these games would have to be inciting hatred. They would have to be threatening and abusive while the, inter the intention of stirring up hatred to another individual at one of these games. And the individual in is in fear and in alarm. Overall, Mrs. Brown insisted there is a very high threshold for criminality in the new law. See, this is not. This is not what they're saying. They can. They are saying that, but there isn't a high threshold. What I just said there before is they decide when it's a high threshold. If it's not the person they want to arrest, it isn't a high threshold. This is what it is. When asked about fascism, Bert. Russell once said first they fascinate the fools doing football, rugby all the sports to keep them at the bay out of the way then they muzzle intelligent now they're trying to take over football like that by uh, putting everything on race and trying to create a divide between the older fans and the newer fans and this is going to destroy society and people need to wake up wake up people because this lady here is trying to stick up for you all, especially young women, and she's been vilified by the press. So, all the best, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Ta-da.